You're listening to Focus on Africa on the BBC World Service. Now, in April this year, Nigerians will have to choose a replacement for President Olusha Gonobasanjo, whose final term in office ends on the 29th of May. At the end of last year, political parties in the country picked their presidential candidates for the elections. Umar Musa Yaradua, the reclusive governor of the northern Katsina state, was controversially chosen as the ruling PDP's candidate. Many believe he was an imposition on the party by President Obasanjo, an allegation denied by both men. The BBC's Mansour Liman asked Umar Yaradua why he thought the other candidates had stepped down for him. Because we wanted to build a consensus, and after due consultations, my colleagues most graciously place their confidence in me. Not because I'm better than anyone of them, no. But that is what the consensus produced. And at the end of the day, as I've always said, it is God who chooses. And that is what God has chosen. Some say that uh, the president of Nigeria, Olusegun Obasanjo, prevail on some of them to withdraw for you. You see, when you say consensus, there is no way in a political party you can force or prevail on people to withdraw from a contest against their will. But you see, consensus means subjecting your preferences and choices to that of the majority. So whenever you are trying to build consensus, whenever you see there is a tendency to go in a certain direction, then the, cons- the, the tendency and the result is that the consensus is built along that direction. I think that is what has happened. And I think it, is, it just happened that the consensus was built around me. It could as well have been built around anybody. The choice of uh, Jonathan Goodluck as your running mate was very surprising to say the least to many people in Nigeria. Has the crisis in the Niger Delta in any way influenced the choice for the running mate? The vice presidential candidate of necessity will have to come from the southern part of the country. And there are three zones, the southwest, the south-south, and the southeast. Of course, the southwest has conceded because it has produced a president for two terms, and the, we are considering the southeast and the, the, the south-south. So it is because we, we felt that a consensus and stakeholders' discussions and agreement, there was the general view that the south-south had never had either a presidential or a vice presidential candidate throughout the history of this country. And we thought that it was, the party thought it was a good thing you know, for, for the party to do that so that it gives all parts of Nigeria a sense of belonging. Presidential candidate for Nigeria's ruling People's Democratic Party, Umar Musa Yaradua.